Today we're going to talk about blood flow and health and wellness. The first thing we're going to talk about is the more traditional task chair and what we call the 90-90 seating position or what is called the 90-90 seating position. So if you sit upright with good tension in your core, you have what's called 90 degrees here between the floor and your thigh and then 90 degrees here between the torso and the thigh. What this does is it cramps the blood flow here and here just simply by compression. Same thing as squeezing down on a garden hose. So it's more difficult for the blood to get from my heart here to my toes and back up again. One of the things that are recommended to alleviate that is increasing the angle here to here to at least 135 degrees. So again, 90, 90, go back 45, and now you're at 135. That relieves the pressure here in the pelvic area and allows those arteries to move blood back and forth easier. Of course, you can do this too. And then this is kind of what we jokingly call the hammock, which a lot of people use at the, towards the end of the workday. They're tired, their body's tired, they're tired of sitting up straight. So they slouch and they're supported here and here, and their back is slung like a hammock between two trees. So that's why we call it the hammock. You'll also notice that if you have a regular desk and you set up your ergonomic uh, desk here, your monitor's at the right height, everything's perfect. Now, when I go into this slumped position, I've effectively raised the desk, raised the monitor. I now have tension here in my muscles because I'm trying to hold this up. I'm reaching for that mouse because it hasn't moved with me. So that's the blood flow problems with the 90-90 position. Moving over to an alt workstation. Now the best way to encourage blood flow throughout the body is movement, especially with the major muscle groups in the legs. So when you're in the standing position, you know, a little bit of movement back and forth, and some of those pads that are on the floor that allow you to stretch, little shaking back and forth, all good for blood flow. But we also, many of us, want to sit sometimes and work. So let's go through the sitting position with an alt workstation. So first of all, you can see here, I have my legs slung over. A lot of people have asked us, well, why isn't that horizontal arm straight? Shouldn't it be straight? No, it's specifically designed so that you can allow your foot to be in this area. You do this. Of course, you can put your feet up, put them next to each other, end up like this. A little bit of fidgeting, a little bit of so-called wiggle. Great idea, right? When I'm sitting here, one of the things that's important to note about the way the alt workstation works is it opens up the body as you recline. This tilts up, so when I was in that hammock position with the other chair, you'll note that I was about to slide out of it. It's not comfortable because of that. I'm gonna move that. So as I recline, you'll see that I open up the chest, the torso, to the thigh distance. I don't have this compression here, right? And that encourages blood flow just because it's easier to have the blood flow. Heart's here, it's gotta go all the way to the tip of my toes, to the top of my head. So let's have a little more interesting. If you really wanna encourage blood flow as much as you possibly can, you wanna get your feet above your heart. So, in this case, I can go all the way back and I can bring the feet up as high as they will go. And you can see that my toes are now above my heart. My heart will be back down in this area, right? Now, some people have accurately asked, well, what about my fingertips? And this is something that we found when we were doing initial research into the alt workstation. Some people have bought um, various type of 
equipment, right? Some of those little simple laptop desks and try to work in bed. And they have noticed that their fingertips go to sleep. It's something that we noticed early on, right? It's difficult for the heart to get the blood flow to the tips of the fingers, pretty common problem over a long period of time. So one of the things that we made sure we did in the alt workstation was the ability to move the desk quite low. So if I'm in here and I can touch type, I can be in this position, my fingertips are just barely above my heart, lower than my forehead actually. So this further makes it easier for the blood to flow throughout the body, for the circulation throughout the body. Now again, we think movement throughout the day is really important. So we reduce the barriers to movement. You notice that I can just come right up here. I can move a little bit more. I can go into another position here, rearrange the desk, and go back to what I like to do as a typing position here. Movement throughout the day, reduction in the, the stresses, the body positions, all those kinds of things that people are used to with ergonomics. But in this case, we're talking about the increase in the ability for the body to circulate blood from head to toe. With that, thank you very much. I hope you found this interesting.